Welcome to the subject Introduction to Geostatistics. By way of introduction, I've set up a little game. This chessboard has 64 squares, and uh, under it there are some gold coins, silver coins, and copper coins. Now, you don't know the truth of what's down there, but I'm asking you to make a guess. How many of each type of coin do you expect? Well, without much data, it's uh, very hard to do unless you had some prior knowledge. Uh, and so let's collect some data. And what we find is that some have copper, some have gold, some might have nothing, and some have silver. So what I'm going to do is reveal 10 squares. And so we might be able to use the data we've collected to improve our estimate. You might say, I found one out of 10 as copper, so I guess 10% is copper or 20% is gold, or 30% is silver. So let's go about and collect some more data. As we get more data, we might be able to get more clever with it and look very carefully at the patterns and say, well, are there trends? Are there uh, particular regions? Uh, what, what can we see as we look at more and more of the data? And so, by looking at the data, perhaps we can improve our estimates even more. Geostatistics literally means spatial statistics. So in mining, it's used for problems like resource estimation. In structures, it might be used for looking at soil data and trying to figure out how soil strength varies in a region. Or in environmental modelling, it's used for making maps of variables like rainfall or temperature. So there are, in fact, many, many applications of geostatistics. So, how are you going? Let's make another guess or improve it. You see, by looking at the data, we might be able to not just say, look, this is my estimate, because anyone can come up with a number. We might be able to say, well, this is how good I think my estimate is. We might be able to say, I think that there's going to be about mm, 15 gold coins, but it could vary between... 10 and 17, or similar for copper or silver. And so we might be able to put some statistics to it to strengthen it. And in this subject, we uh, just start to scratch the surface, really, uh, no pun intended, of the statistical relationships in a, re in a region. We don't just want to make an estimate, we want to see how good it is. So we hope this course opens up for you the ideas of data, modelling and statistics in a spatial setting. I'll leave it for you to count how many of each coin there is.